Hakim Ziyech being linked with a move away again from Chelsea to either Juventus or AC Milan. Do Chelsea have to sell one of Pulisic or Ziyech? This club never fails to amaze me. And Adrian Rudiger back again. Rudiger, is he going to be lowering us either Bashula or Boateng in the summer window? Wait and find out. Let's get straight into it. Hello and welcome to another video of mine, this is Kyle Double A and this is your Chelsea transfer news video for you guys where I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news in the past 24 hours and some good news stories, some big news stories that broke this morning um, from Chelsea Twitter, from Chelsea news stories, even from big, big publications as well and some interesting news, some very interesting news, I'm going to be speaking about Zia Computer Sick once again and the situation with Rudiger. But let's get into the first story, but before I do, make sure you smash like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic that I do speak about. But let's get straight into this Chelsea news study. If you're not Antonio Rudiger, Agent Rudiger back again, back again for Agent Rudiger. He lured us Timo, he lured us Kai, thank you Timo, thank you very much Kai. Rudiger, he, he, he done a madness. He did a madness in the summer. He helped us secure both of their services, two German superstars. Listen, it hasn't worked out on the football pitch. Let's be honest now. It hasn't worked out on the football pitch thus far, so far. But we're hoping that with Thomas Tuchel coming and Thomas the Tank Engine and the team, the tactics that are being deployed and the formation being set up, hopefully, fingers crossed, them two are going to shine. But thank you, Rudiger, for helping us secure the deal. Now, that he could be involved in another deal for Chelsea to sign a defender from the Bundesliga. Now, the three possible names are Schuler, Bolting, and Alaba. Chelsea have already been linked to him, but Rudiger had an interview with Christian Falk. Take it away, Christian Falk. And according to CF Bayern, they stated that if Chelsea were to decide one of the three players as a transfer target, Rudiger said, I would be available to answer any questions. I know Jerome Boateng and Nicolas Schuller very well, and I've already had contact with David Alaba. Now, David Alaba is a sticky one because, as I said in yesterday's news video, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I stated in that video that the problem with Alaba is he's already had a verbal pre-contract agreement with Real Madrid. Now, this doesn't mean he signed the paper yet. He hasn't got the signature on the dotted line. Fingers crossed. It's just a verbal agreement, so it's done him dirty. Like it's actually a sneaky move because a lot of you know players, if they give a verbal agreement, yeah, even if they haven't got the signature down on the dotted line, even if they haven't signed the, the contract, it's still out of courtesy and respect that you still sign for them because you've already given your yes, you've already given your verbal agreement. Actually, Tiago, we will not offer you a contract extension. Tiago then turned around and said, "Listen, mate, thank you for the offer." You know, you had your chance to offer me the contract. Chelsea, I've already given them a verbal agreement. I'm signing for them. And that's out of respect, yeah? Now, Alaba's on the same. So if he doesn't sign for Madrid now, it's a bit snaky. But listen, mate, listen, listen, listen. Do I care? No, I don't care. If you yeah? lure him to the Premier League. However, it's looking unlikely. It's looking like he is going to be signing for Real Madrid. Um, you know, prime of his career. Madrid being his dream club. Yeah, 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 whatever. So... It's not completely ruled out, but as I said yesterday, it's extremely unlikely that we are going to get the David Alaba deal done or wrapped up. So, the other two options, Nicolas Schuller and Jerome Boateng. Now, two names that I don't want anywhere near Chelsea, by the way, and I'll give you my thoughts and reasons in a second. But in regards to the news, Rudiger, he's apparently got a close relationship with both, as he said in the interview with Christian Falk. And again, Adrian Rudiger back again to lower him. Do you know what's ironic about this as well? He's helping Chelsea sign defensive targets to replace him in his position. I'm like, brother, why are you helping the club? They're taking your position, bro. Like, you're not going to get first team football once Schuler or Boateng come in. They're going to partner up with either Telgis or Christensen, and you're going to be dumped back on the bench. Unless you are, you've got Thomas Sigal's nudes, and in that case, you're definitely getting picked every single week. But joking aside, it's crazy. And listen, Asian Rudiger could be back again. Now, why don't I want Jerome Boateng? For me, he was world class in his prime. But Messi ended him in 2015, unfortunately. He hasn't recovered ever since. He's been defensively suspect. He's not been good on the ball. There's a reason why Bayern Munich want to sell both of these players, right? Let's be honest now. Bayern Munich are a step ahead of us when it comes to projects, when it comes to team. They're the European champions, right? We want to get to a level. But how are you going to get to a level when you're taking their rejects? There is a reason why Bolting and Schuler are on the transfer list. If they were good enough for Bayern, they wouldn't be for sale. Simple as that. It's like, look at Bayern's best players. Joshua Kimmich, Goreska, Lewandowski, Gnabry, Sane. If Chelsea tried to sign them, Bayern would go, nope, not for sale. 
So how come they're putting Schuler and Boateng up for sale? Because they're not good enough. They're not good enough anymore. Schuler has had this, you know, in you know personal injury issues. He hasn't been up to scratch. He was good prior to the injury. He is their most solid centre back. He hasn't been the same since his, you know, monstrous ACL injury. You know, hopefully he can recover from that quickly. But again, those are two centre backs that are profiles that we don't need. You know, we have uh, the likes of a Rudiger who's in the same mould as Sean Boateng. If you in that regard, in a physical sense, in a characteristic sense, both good ball playing centre backs. We have a world class centre back in Thiago Silva. For me, the only one out of that list is David Alaba, but he looks like he's set off to Real Madrid. So now it's a case of. You know, I think that we should be looking elsewhere. We should be looking to sign a, a Jules Kunde from Sevilla or a Marquinhos from Paris Saint-Germain or, you know, a Rafael Varane. These are the targets that I want Chelsea to be linked to. But I don't think Schuller or Boateng, respectively, are good enough for Chelsea. I genuinely don't believe so. But what do you guys think? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And let's move on to a second story. Now, in regards to a second story, man, like, I've had enough. Please, I've had enough, man. I spoke about this a few days ago, and it's in regards to Hakim Ziyech. Now, for Richard Romano, thank goodness he covered this on his Here We Go podcast. He said, in his quotes, there is absolutely nothing from Juventus or AC Milan for Chelsea winger Hakim Ziyech. Now, a week ago, I made a news day video saying that he's potentially been linked to Syria on a potential loan move because he's not getting the sufficient gain time at Chelsea. Now, people need to relax. These reporters, these journalists, I, I know the industry. Yeah, they're there to rinse it. To get the clout and get the money. That's it. I understand that. You're hustling. You're doing your business. But stop spouting rubbish. Yeah, the guy has just signed in a summer window. He's adapting. He's adjusting. He's in the prime of his career. He had a great start on the Lampard. Has, he's had a couple of injury issues. He's adapting to the Premier League. Thomas Tuchel's coming. He's not ideally Thomas Tuchel's, you know, stylistic player. Um, but he's trying to find a way to fit him into the system. He's had his own injury issues. He will find a way to come back into the team and prove to why he is a world-class player. He had a horrific time against Barnsley, but I let it slide. He has his time. He has his moments to, to produce on the pitch. And I'm sure Tom Sugar will give him the opportunity. You know, he's a, a summer sign. He's a world-class player if played in, in the perfect way, in a good position. You know, his left foot, is he's a wizard of, of Amsterdam for a reason. The way his left foot the way that he's got magic wands, the way he can shoot from distance. He's got a lot of characteristics this team doesn't have and Ziyech has those qualities. So he will get his opportunity. So this links, this rubbish links from, from Syria I need to stop. He's not going and thank goodness a reliable tier one journalist in Fabrizio Romano has actually cleared that out for us because I was getting annoyed now. Yeah, a lot of gullible fans are believing this. It's not going to happen, right? Or at least like you'd hope so. Obviously, I don't know exactly, but logically speaking, this shouldn't happen. Yeah, January's just gone. We got the summer window. Unless something drastic happens between now and the summer, like he doesn't get any game time, he falls out of Thomas Tuchel, he has a bust up or whatever, he's not leaving. It's as simple as that. He is not leaving. Now another player, right? Another player that has been removed from the Chelsea transfer target list from the short list is Declan Rice. This was expected. He was mainly a Frank Lampard target. We all knew once Frank Lampard got sacked, Declan Rice would not sign for Chelsea. But Fabrizio Romano has also cleared that up. Declan Rice will not be signing for Chelsea, or at least it's extremely unlikely. He was not a Chelsea hierarchy target. He was solely a Frank Lampard target. And according to the Athletic at the time, it was a small reason as to why Frank Lampard got sacked because Frank Lampard was continuously pushing the boards to get the Declan Rice done, deal done. The main reason they don't want to sign him, they don't think he's you know good enough or has the qualities, and and the fact that they want they don't want to have that embarrassment of signing a re, you know a player that they released a few years ago for big money that West Ham are commanding. So it's understandable they have a lot of pride. I understand it from that perspective, but also they don't want to sign him because they still believe that he hasn't improved on the reasons why they released him in the first place, and that is moving the ball, ball progression. If you look at the statistics and the metrics, it makes completely sense. You know, we've got Georgina Kovacic who are levels above Declan Rice, who are both world class players, and they're in the first team plans of two court. You don't need a Declan Rice, you don't. You know, Georgina Kovacic, the chemistry link up they have. The maestros, the world-class play, they're able to you know, dictate the tempo of the game. Even if you look at the statistics, they pass the eye test and they pass the numbers test. They're far superior to a Declan Rice. So we don't need to splash and waste £80 million. Look, like we've already wasted too much money, yeah, this summer window. You know, Chilwell seems to be a waste of money. I, I don't want to rule out Chilwell completely, but, you know, £50 million on a left-back could have been spelt, spent, you know, much better elsewhere. You can get much better left-backs for half the price. You know, I know Hakim Ziyech's going to get his time, but again... You know, potentially he might not be utilised. So, you know, we've wasted enough money over the years on so much dross and deadwoods. Let's not waste any more money. 
let's ship these players out in the summer window. Let's clear all the dead words and let's move forward as a football club. But that is your news daily video for you guys. If you did enjoy this news daily video, don't forget to smash like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic that I did speak about. And I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.